Look, look, look at here, folks. Legendary Boston Celtics player and coach KC Jones has died at 88. According to reports, KC Jones, who personified winning as a hard nosed point guard and then coach of the Boston Celtics during a Hall of Fame career, has died. The Celtics announced Friday he was 88. KC was Jones' given name, although some joke to see stood for a championship. It was easy to see why. He played nine seasons in the NBA, all with the Celtics, and they won titles in eight of them. The third most in the league history behind only longtime teammate Bill Russell and Sam Jones. That success carried over to his coaching days when he won three titles, one as an assistant, two as a head coach during Boston Run success in the 1980s with Larry Bird. And he also won a championship in 1972 as an assistant coach with the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's get to KC Jones. Now the old saying say that everybody has a number, a ticket, on their way out of here. And that shows the goal with how KC left. And when you think about the number 88, it's a significant number, man. Like you see this number used around in gang activities. Or you hear a gang member saying, yo, shout out to the 88. And like that movie you uh called Gridiron Game, he was on that Holland the number eighty eight, and uh, it's a very powerful number, so to speak. And when you think about this guy, man, he had multiple championships. He was always a winner, and even though you know he was on that Soul Eye team with Larry Bird and all them boys, chunking up the deuces on the basketball, you feel me? And can't nobody tell me that team wasn't sold out back in the day. Larry Bird and all them guys, man. Shoot, you get all them championships in a row with Bill Russell, bro. You really is the GOAT's child, bro. And that's why I say the GOAT let these type of guys live longer than what expected. And that's why the GOAT get them a significant number, like 88, man. That's why this number is the same. It's a double number and it's the same number. A lot of people don't get this privilege to live like this. You know what I'm saying? This is the ticket that Goat Lucy promised them. You know, a long extended life. Like this guy done coached traditions of basketball from 1970 all the way up to 1980s, bro. And he got multiple championships. You feel me? Like that's what a legend says in itself. And Goat Lucy, the pot belly one, the dominant belly one, the one to eat all the garbage. He gonna make sure that your name is written down in that Hall of Fame book. Just like Kobe Bryant and all the rest of them, them boys already did. But one thing about it. They real reach Hall of Fame status and they real they name will live forever. Seriously, man. And this is the exact same thing that's gonna happen to your boy KC Jones, man. Ain't no way you can win all these championships and not be a sellout, man. Don't you know during the era of this 1960, you know how much stuff they was dealing with just by being the color you are? This man had to deal with so much negative energy on the daily, bro. In order for you to do that, you had to work with the people. You had to work with the elites to succeed in the basketball world. Like Bill Russell, man, come on now. They had to work with the people, bro. They had to sell out and work with them just to get the success to stay in there, man. Like these man right here, bro. They, man, they popping white women, all that, man. Like, for real. Like, back in the 60s, 70s, bro. No lie, I can't make this up. Shoot. They getting more corn than a corn patch, bro. They stacking no corn like a cornfield, man. Snatching her. Oh, get some more of them, them butternut crumbs. Hold up. Boom. That's how I go, man. Shoot. 
by being the guy you are back in that day, you had to be a sellout, bro. No if and but about it. I don't care who don't like it. Who care? Who get mad? Look, I'm spitting facts. I ain't spitting that fake stuff, bro. These are all facts that 100% because I keep it real over here. I'm not finna be sugarcoating my tongue holds no filter, bro. And that's why I'm one of the most hated YouTubers on this platform. Even when I was with the robot voice writing it down. For real. But, man, but let me know what y'all think about Casey Jones, man. Um, checking up out of here, bro. 88, bro. Let me know in the comment box, man. This is the messy robot. I'm out.